Hello everybody, and in this video we're going to continue revamping old creations. We're here with the RMS Rescue, and um, I haven't actually done a video on this in a bit, so I think we're just going to go over this and see what we've done, and what could use improvements. Now some are really laggy, so let's turn on Infinite Purely Guard of Dugs. Actually, no, that didn't help at all. Yeah, why is it so laggy? It was never this laggy before. Um, drop the fishing rod. No, it doesn't seem to help. Oh well, we'll deal with it for now. It's right to the microcontroller room. We also rematch some of the stuff on the bridge. We had some lights up to the doors. We have a helicopter on the back, which is good. We need that. Um, but we also need a, like, a helicopter pad for it. So... Um, let's just select all of this, this way we have it all and not just some of it. I'm gonna cut that and then just move it up just a couple of blocks, paste that in, um, and we're just gonna delete this because there's no need for it. Um, and we're just gonna build the helicopter pad underneath it, underneath the helicopter, this way it drops down and automatically anchors itself into place. So with that gone, we can now actually start a landing pad. We're going to have to move those exhausts, but let's just get the landing pad built here. So I think this should be like roughly like wide enough and that should be long enough. We're going to just um, bring this back so we have the entire helicopter and move this back slightly and we're, we're going to keep it at the same height. This so we still have room for us to add other stuff. So I think we're going to make this like two blocks tall here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just cut out some holes. And these are going to be for connectors to hold down the helicopter. Um, so we can just get an electric connector like so and do this. I might, I should probably be using Magals because yeah, let's just use mag all of this so we don't have to like put any like extra power towards the connectors. And this way it's just on the helicopter itself. It's not like you don't have to disable it on the ship. So let's just paint that properly. We also need to send power to that from the helicopter. And there we go. And then we're just gonna... Uh, I think we got... What's, what, what's this? This is... Uh, so what is... that's for the motor. Push button, okay. Engine, wait, do, does, do those, does that go anywhere? It does, but... So what's this? That's fuel, engine temperature, and engine RPS. We don't need any of this. So we're just gonna get rid of that. And we're gonna get a toggle button and just slap it in there. And this is gonna be for the mag holes. And that's just gonna go to these like so just basic logic not hard and then we're just gonna set that to be defaultly on this way we can turn it off as soon as we get in the helicopter but it'll be on by default so it's a me oops but it'll immediately anchor itself onto the deck we need to mer what did i even what did i do to this must have not merged it together oh well uh let's just resize this get the proper size um, and then just bring this up. Cuts. Bring that up, like so. Paste that in. There we go. That should be good. That should be fixed. Alright, so let's try and make this landing pad a bit smoother and better looking. To go two blocks out, like this. And then we're gonna get just some um, by two wedges here. And we're just gonna drag these into all corners. And then we're going to get a 1 by 2 no, um, 2 by 2 yes, 2 by 2 pyramid. And put that on new corners. By the way, guys, if you're if you're, if you're doing builds and, or you're scared to use, um, like these other blocks, like these pyramid blocks or an inverse pyramid blocks, um, don't be just just experiment with them. You'll find some. I didn't use these for a long the longest time until I saw Mr. in Jersey using them in his builds and then I realized how um, helpful they could actually be. So don't be scared to to use them. Anyways, we're gonna go get stair tops and just put that in the middle here, like so. 
then we're just gonna get a stair step. Don't know why they made those two. Ah, I, 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 you never mind. That actually kind of makes sense. And just delete that. There we go. So that's that. And now we're just gonna do the same thing over here. Uh, so there is not gonna be very many videos this week. If you didn't see my community post, because I'm gonna try and incorporate things like the fish, like the fishing update into my builds. Um, and I just, when I probably won't be able to record most of that, um, because it's a school week, so I have to cut stuff off, like, like right at last minute, right before class, and I'd have to do things in short segments, so, um, yeah, that's why there's not going to be as many videos this week, so don't be surprised if this is the only video you see. Okay, so that's, that, that's our stairways done. We, we can, let's, let's just make sure we can actually walk up these. Okay, we can. Um, walk up, you can go, you can go around, you're probably not going to be using this, but you can go up, there you go, that's anchored, we're leaning severely towards the back, or the stern, so to fix that, okay, we're going to fix that, we're just going to put some weights in the front, just like so, we'll see how that does, that's why I had actually put uh, my batteries and distributed them in the front of the ship, and all around the hull, to see if I could balance out the ship while also having something useful in there to balance it. Okay, so that's... We may not be... It might take... We, we might sink this thing before we actually balance it out. And if that's the case, I think I have something I can do that I've never done before in any of my ships because I just don't know if it works. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting really low in the water. Like, that's not, we shouldn't be this low in the water. So, I'm gonna have to try that method. We're just gonna get rid of this. And just, and then we're gonna create a copy. We're gonna create a copy of this stabilizer, which is going the other way, if you know what I mean. It's gonna be about the same distance, but instead of going left and right, it's gonna be going like forward and backwards. I'm not sure if it's gonna work simply because of the fact that this is just solely in the front of the ship and not actually in and not distributed to the entire thing so this may not work but we can try it where it happens is it just doesn't work. Alright and then we're just gonna go down here um track track, track and get compact the new track base and just Stick that in the middle of these. Hopefully have the positive arrow facing the same direction on all of these. Psst, got that wrong. Big time. <laughs> um, here we go. We're doing it the right way now. Boom. And then what we're just going to do. Um, we're going to get rid of two on the ends here. Just so we have some room for overhang. So we can make our two wide. That's not an issue on this end though. So. Alright, so now what we're just gonna do is we're gonna get weight blocks once again. Um, yeah, like, yeah, that's right, okay. Got confused for a second. I, I'm not used to building it in this orientation. Um, okay, so we'll just merge all of these into one. And we're gonna utilize, we're not gonna put too many in. We're just gonna put two, because I don't wanna, I don't wanna overdo it, I don't wanna sink the thing, right? And then, now we need my stabilizer, my drip controller. We're going to put this into here as well, in our microcontroller room, and we're going to get another tilt sensor. I think I already have one up here, um, so we're just going to get another one. Where did I put that tilt sensor? Okay, I put it right here. Alright, and instead that's going to end up going... Is this thing even in use? That's a linear speed sensor. Speed, alright. We'll just stick to here. It doesn't... that rope anchor isn't really visible anyways. And now we're just going to drag that down into here, drag that out to our tracks. So what we need to see is if I got it right, it's go okay, I need to invert that, okay. You need to actually have the right, the the orientation correct. If the orientation isn't correct, it's not going to work. So you'll sometimes need an inverter, numerical inverter. So we'll grab this, stick that up here, and... Hook this up like so. Okay, let's see how that does now. Okay, it's trying. So I think we got something going on here. But I think we need just a bit more weight. So 
I won't do too much on this right now. We'll probably end up continuing the next video, but I just want to see if this is what is going to work. And it looks like it's trying to, but again, the main issue is it's going too low in the water in general. Like this is way too low. The back should not be this low in the water. Um, but that's something you can try. It, it is to an, it is to a point working, but it's not the method we need to. It's not the method we should use because we just don't want to create like any more weight in this thing. But anyways, that's gonna be it for me. So yeah, bye.